2023 tax deadline is April 18th, yet millions of taxpayers still haven't filed their taxes. If you're one of them, don't worry, there's still plenty of time before the deadline. Today, I'm joined by CP and tax expert from TurboTax, Lisa Green Lewis, with some tips on how you can quickly and easily file your taxes on your own or with some help from a tax expert. So Lisa, what's your advice on someone who hasn't started filing their taxes yet? Um, first, I would say, you know, don't panic. You still have time to file. Second, gather all your documents in one place. So those documents that report your income, like your W-2s and 1099s, you don't want to leave anything out. And also those forms or receipts that show expenses that can be deductible. And then third, go online and e-file with direct deposit. That's the fastest way to get your tax refund. And after some Kentucky tax law changes this season, should we be expecting any changes to our refunds? Um, under the American Rescue Plan, there were provisions that were only for tax year 2021. So for instance, the child tax credit, that was up to $3,600. That's reverting to $2,000 for this tax filing season. The child and dependent care credit, that's another example. That was up to $8,000. If you had two or more kids, that's going back to $2,100. So if you were able to claim those credits in tax year 2021 and you're claiming them this year, you may see a difference in your um, refund. Are there any new credits that filers can claim this season? Um, under the Inflation Reduction Act, um, it expanded or extended some of the energy efficient credits. So it increased the credit for placing solar in your home up to 30% of your cost. And then also um, it extended the energy efficient credits for installing things like energy efficient windows or doors. So that's something to keep in mind. These are some great tips. So if people are interested, where can people go to learn more? You can come to TurboTax.com. Thank you so much, Lisa. We appreciate it. Thank you.